I know what you're thinking. I know their hot point. Hey there, it's Boots Own here. This is a hot point first edition FEW12. It's a washing machine, of course. I don't know anything about it really, other than it had been left outside someone's house for months at this stage. Asked permission, got the machine, and it's pretty gross inside. This is it actually after I've wiped down the outside, it's pretty gross. But you're in for a treat if I do this. It's almost like there isn't any bearings. Watch the gap here. Look at that gap, that's just crazy, this whole machine. Can't, I can't express how loose that is. <laughs> It's just crazy. So this machine's got really bad bearings. I wonder I wonder how it actually got that bad. That's that's the first point. I've unscrewed the bits on the top, so let's see. Let's go forward or back. I can never remember with these. I don't really care if I damage it, that side's gone back. So where's that one? Is that it? Are we off? We are, we're in. Ooh, look at that. Look how clean it is. And look at how repairable it is. Oh man. So this has got one of these sealed tubs. So there's not, not even any point in me doing anything with this. There is no belt on it. That's interesting. Okay, so the belt's come off. So I'm guessing this one's just going to go straight to hot wire. And uh, yeah, brick. Let me know what you think. Let's have a look at it. It seems quite empty in here, but still clean and spacious. It's a shame that they designed these things to fail. Spray unit, cold only. 9th of October, 2016. Six minutes past five in the evening. Cold fill only. I wonder, actually, I might do a test wash in this first, just to see how how crummy it can be, how noisy it can be. It won't be a test wash, I'll do a spin. Fast spin, see if it'll even do it. I'll have to get that belt back on somehow. Wonder, you've gotta try and get in there with your hands and it's gonna be dusty as usual. Okay, I'll try and get that belt back on. We'll go for a fast spin. Okay, so it took me a while to get the belt on because the whole thing's a bit shaky. Somehow, magically, it's already set to pee, fast spin. Let's turn it off, turn it back to P, it says program end, rinse hold, Any of that? none of that's relevant. Let's press start, goes to active, won't take on any water, we'll try to pump out, oh dear. You can hear that. See, it's not even running straight. It sounds like it's warming up. Put your earmuffs on. not going very fast. Ooh. You can 
hear the pump running there.
I don't know if I've ever had one as bad as that that worked. Let's have a look. It's still live. It's still just going to go to the end of its door lock cycle. You can see the way the belt is kind of towards the inside there, towards the left. It stayed on. stayed on the pulley, so that's something. Welded. Welded tub. I, I don't see any way that I can do the bearings on this at all. You know, I don't see how I can do them. I could cut the thing open. Oh, I shouldn't touch wires. I could cut the thing open. But then, you know, what's the point? So I'm thinking there's one solution for this machine, and that's the brick. Let me know in the comments what you think. I don't think it's worth fixing. Like, I've seen some of the comments from previous videos were saying, you know, you get a tub from a different machine, you do this and that, and put a tub into this one, and then you're back on track, and so on. I've only got machines, I've got the grey WMA50, I think, outside. I think it's a WMA. It's got dud bearings as well. This one, it's, it's not even clean, you know? The rubber inside the door, you'd have to replace that, and that's grim. What do you do? Something occurred to me while I was listening to that infernal racket. FEW12, first edition washing machine. 12, 1200 spin. Maybe, let me know what you think. There's the door. There's no any heat or anything out of it. I thought it was gonna be burning up. I thought there might be a bit of smoke, but like, look how, oh man, that is so gross. Look how gross that is, you know, this thing. Yikes, that's gross. I don't know what to tell you about it. You can tell me about it. You tell me about it in the comments. And then see what I do to it. I don't even think you could make soup in a machine like this. Thanks for watching. See you later.